Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, in case you haven't heard, Miles Sanders to the Panthers. Um, he got signed for four years, six, about six and a quarter million. Um, overall, this is a really good move for the Panthers, I think. Um, obviously, it's good for Miles Sanders, too, because he's finally getting paid really well. Uh, but, you know, the Panthers, they got him for a really good price. Uh, six and a quarter million for a running back of his caliber is very, very good. Uh, Nick, uh, he was top five in rush yards last year. Um, all the other guys, uh, he was number five in rush yards behind uh, Nick Chubb, uh, Josh Jacobs, Derrick Henry, and Saquon Barkley. All are making well over 10 mil. All are making at least, well, not at least 10 million a year next year. Um, the only one that came close was Saquon until before his, uh, before his uh, franchise tag. He was a little over 7 million. That was the only one that came close. So six uh, six and a quarter million a year for a running back of Sanders caliber is a very, very good move for the Panthers. Uh, the only thing is that, I mean, basically they're in the middle of their rebuilding mode. The chance, uh, They've been a dumpster fire of a franchise for at least the past couple, for at least the past three years. I mean, at least since they haven't had Cam, like post Cam Newton, they've been 17 and 33. Uh, combined seventeen and thirty three since uh, since uh, since camp post Cam Newton, um, so they've been one of the worst teams in the league uh, recently. Um, I mean, for Miles Sanders, by the way, that they're paying like less than half of what they paid for Christian McCaffrey. So, and, and Miles Sanders last year certainly had a better year than McCaffrey did. Um, I mean, we don't know what he's going to do in the future, but so far, uh, that that's a very good move. Um, the thing is, they're the Panthers are still in rebuilding mode. And the problem is for them, are they are they going to stink still? Because if the team surrounding, if the team is otherwise going to stink, um, as it has been for the past couple of years, having a really good running back is only going to do you so much. Um, it's similar to having a really good receiver. I mean, sure, it's good to have a, or it's good to have a star running back, but how much, how far is that going to get you? Um, because it won't get you that far if the rest of your team stinks. And that certainly is a possibility. Uh, the Panthers, I mean, like I said, they're currently rebuilding, so they think they're going to get a lot better. But ultimately, if they don't actually, you know, add some uh, pieces, uh, it, it's just going to be a waste of money. Uh, that's really all it could be. And, and in terms of, like, the amount of time, four years, I mean, Miles Sanders is 25, so he's not even going to be 30 by the end of this contract. It's not like he's a 32-year-old running back. He's 36 at the end of the deal. I mean, it's a perfect amount of time for a very good amount of money for a player of his caliber. Um, so overall, like I said, good move. They just have to, you know, add more players. Um, and by the way, they don't even have to have that good of a team because their division is very weak. The Saints so far look like the best team in the division. So they don't even really need to be that. The Panthers overall, overall, they don't really need to put a great team around them in order to like at least be able to make the playoffs. Um, I mean, they have the number one pick. I'm not really too convinced that that's going to do much this year. They might have to be bad for another year and wait for Caleb Williams. But I guess we'll have to see about that. Um, I guess I guess we'll just have to see about that. Um, but. Overall, like I said, really good move for the Panthers. Uh, if they're if look, they're in rebuilding mood. They're in a rebuilding mode, and as long as you're in a rebuilding mode, you have to get good, uh, really good quality players for a good for good prices. So, yeah.